What's up guys, Jamie Quinn here, and we are starting anew with Silent Hill 2. I honestly don't know what ending I want to go for right now, but we'll just go for it, see how it goes, see how it plays organically. And we'll just stay in this musty bathroom for a bit, because you know... This is what I like to do in video games. Chill in bathrooms. Chill in rusty bathrooms. Chill in musty Mary, men's rooms. Would you really be in this town? This always like blew my mind as a kid, the reflection actually reflecting. Cause I this is like one of the first PS2 games I bought with my own money. It was that, and... Is it... Okay, so it's the same... Way to 180 turn. It's nothing important here. So, okay, yeah, the 180 turn is the same as the Silent Hill 1. So that's familiar. dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me. Look at the scenery. Like, the scenery looks gorgeous. But here's the fun fact about that scenery that background scenery there, it's legit just a JPEG. Just straight up a JPEG. The only reason why I know this is in the Silent Hill HD collection. It's fucking obvious. Because, oh my fucking god, the HD collection. Like, I can go into it for days about the HD collection. It would just, like, infuriate me. Damn, pump those elbows, fucking James. Just, like, pump them. On your left! I forgot how much he loves that. But I really enjoy Guy C's performance in this game. Oh. Get the story into him. <laughs> camera angle. Oh, I can readjust with like this again. That's nice. Otherwise it would have been really, really weird to... Oh yeah, and I slow down if I run for too long. But I can catch my breath. Because, you know, James is fat. Like me. 
but he can run for a lot longer than I can. So, lucky you. Man, that camera's really zoomed out on that. I do really like that shot, though. Something in... So those are usually the safe spots. I'm gonna ignore this one for now. We're gonna keep going. So yeah, I forgot to mention I'm playing the Greatest Hits version. I might have I might have alluded to it in the finale of my Silent Hill 1 playthrough. But yeah, we're playing the Greatest Hits version, which is essentially the Restless Dreams version on Xbox, the original Xbox. And I'll, I'll finish off later. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I no, was just... No, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This, uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for... someone. Who... who, who is it? Someone very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. I just want to see what happens. Aren't you looking for someone? That's right. That was easy. Just like, yeah, that's right. But yeah, anyways, um, about the greatest hits version so like I said it's essentially like the Xbox version called Restless Dreams and that comes with the Maria side story I forget what it's titled exactly but it does have that extra that was not in the original Black Label PS2 version so even though like normally Black Label games tend to sell for more, but I feel like this has, like, the better value and it also just expands upon the experience which I think is the most important Actually What do I Okay So I'm, like, thinking about it now like, about, like I, I keep wanting to say Harry because I've been stuck on, I've been playing I literally just finished Silent Hill 1 and I'm jumping right into 2 so anyways, like with James Run Cycle like, a fun, like uh, here's a fun fact about that 
you can, um, what speedrunners do is they play the PC version of this game, and they will, like, quick save, and that'll reset the progress of his run cycle, so that way he never gets tired. So if you were to, like, speedrun the console versions of these games, then you would pretty much have to play the game and the time would be pretty much be, like, close to double. I always found the speed runs for these games very fascinating. I mean, I wish I can keep pace, but yeah, I mean, this is to portray the ordinary human pe human being. I don't know why I was gonna say, like, human being. The ordinary human being, right off of this cliff, right here. Not a whole heck of a lot of action right now. It's definitely super foggy. Hmm, I wonder if this does anything. No. I wonder what the point of that camera angle was then. This is like super thick fog. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I have a fun fact about that scene. Which I'll... I'll explain later. Okay, so we're gonna follow the blood stains because, you know, that's what this, a sane person would do. To go, I'm looking for my wife. Actually, no, just kidding. I'm just here to follow the blood path. Nothing wrong here. Is there any- Oh, there's a health drink here. Oh, and it doesn't even... Ask for my consent this time. It's just like, yeah, just take it. You're gonna need it anyway. There's another save point there, but we don't really need that right now. And another cool thing about this is that Harry looks to the- Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I did it again. So that James looks to the right, or not looks to the right, he faces his head in the direction of objects of interest. So that if he, if you don't see an item right away, he'll kind of see it, and then you can just direct yourself. To where, like, the item can go. Yeah, let's just go through here. Oh my god, it's super glossy. And the wind up. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. Okay, so at least it's dead because I'm not looking at it anymore. 
And this is where we first discover the radio and its functions. But yeah, now that that's over with, here's the fun fact I have about that scene oh, that yeah. we saw before. Actually, hold on. This thing broken? Take it anyway. I might need it. And that's your excuse for taking the radio. Ooh, and the bloody footprints. I don't know if it, that's just for aesthetics or if enemies can find you based on that as well. Like, I hope not. But anyways, that fun fact about that scene from like before alluding to that enemy in the HD collections that fucking scene was completely like ruining the surprise. It's just because the fog was barely there in the HD collection. Why is he drawing attention to this? Cool story. Glad you directed my attention to that. Let's see. We have a map now, so... Is there any specific... Oh, yep. I'm trying to go to Rosewater Park. So this is definitely a different section. Ooh. That's a different noise. Anyways, this is a different section of, like, Silent Hill. So all the stuff that I, we've seen in Silent Hill 1 is completely different. Oh god, that noise. You see that shit? That shit is... clicking. Okay, so this is pretty much your tutorial. Oh shit, he actually hit- that's fucked up. Oh god. Okay, that's so weird. Hold on. That was so weird. I was like stuck for a moment. I don't know if that was a glitch or not. Anyways, let's read that last one we got caught up on. That's the one thing that's kind of fucked up. Like literally it only happens in this scene. That's comforting. That's very comforting. Okay, I'm gonna try to ignore this guy. Holy shit, I'm definitely like tired though. Okay, now I can run a tiny bit faster. Oh god. I forgot they fucking come out of those sometimes. Is this the thing I can 
get to? No. Oh, so we got... Oh, hello, buggy. Go away. Oh, that, so select is the pause button now instead of the menu button. Oh, so that's the... map button. So what's the menu? The status select. Okay. Yep, so I could definitely use some... I can definitely use a bit of health right now, because right now it's flashing. Normally it would be pretty stable, but it doesn't have like a... a color indicator as it used to before. And right now I'm not feeling any vibrations in my controller, so I'm not sure if the vibration is turned on. I'm actually gonna check that real quick, just a moment. Okay, that doesn't toggle vibration. Okay, so vibration is on. Just not doing anything right now. It's not as sensitive as it was before, so okay, I can't really do anything on that side. What other places have I not hit up? So let's go down. Okay, so that section is blocked off. Can't go in that one. Because they're kind of running out of options. What does that say? Oh, well, that's 319 on the inside. I don't know if that means anything. It probably doesn't mean anything. It has been a bit since I've played this game. Like, honestly, I was so burnt. I was burned so bad from the ET collection. I usually play this game every year, but... Yeah, I was just burned out way too bad by that. But, um, I wouldn't say I'm over it. I'm still very sour about it. But, I still enjoy this game. I still enjoy this series. And this is still, like, I would say one of my favorite games of all time. seen this trailer before. But hey, there's a save point in here. Bar Neely's. Okay, so this is a hint. That's good. Okay, so now we have an idea of where we need to go. But for now, let's call it quits, and then we'll pick up where we left off. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.